thing will take a minute for it to go through, I think. Oh my goodness gracious. I think we should be good. Yeah. I just need to double check the title because it's been kind of mer. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So welcome everybody to Kale still being ready to s our week three. Oh my god, I put week five. I can't spell today. <laughs> to week three, we have Cosmic on Opnics versus Valhalla. I'm Red Hood Kitty, and I'm joined by Zanny Boy tonight. Hello. Um. Welcome back. Uh, if you have watched before, welcome back. Of course, if you have not, welcome. <laughs> well, uh, we have a. Go ahead. Initiating. Oh, just yep, we're good. I'm gonna turn my s the stream down on my phone because I could hear myself, and I don't want that. <laughs> we have an exciting matchup tonight. Uh, we have Valhalla and Ko. Ko coming off a very close 4-0 against I Need Healing. Um, a lot of good plays from them. Just couldn't really finish the maps out strong, but they did it look make it look. Decently close. Valhalla coming off of a 4-0 against a team, uh, Pizza Planet, who looked to be struggling, uh, missing a lot of pieces um, from last season. Uh, a lot of people just kind of climbed up to higher ranks or left to join other teams. But um, I think I think Ko has a, a solid chance of taking this win. Uh, but so does Valhalla. So we'll have to see how both teams play here. As um, both teams running the Arisa here on well, which is good. You can get a really good pull, but the double shield from Valhalla coming through uh, and the hog from KO. Uh, maybe Valhalla is anticipating the road hog into the well, and they're going to try and play aggressive and force that hog back to not be able to get environmentals. And we do have we'll see how that goes. Up to a tracer now instead of the sim. I think they realized they were on well, and sim doesn't really play that good here, as far as I can tell. Fight is underway, and a hook already onto PowerPoint, getting low, and the pick comes through, but Hex able to get that res, very risky, but it goes through, and PowerPoint ends up picking out Andrew Andrew after that. As you can see, Ampo on the tracer, uh, forcing them a creep back, but Griffith gets the pick onto PowerPoint. Ampo just putting in that poke damage from uh, one side, but gets hooked, and Andrew ends up taking him out after getting res. And now you see this double shield kind of reeling a bit, not playing as aggressive as they should be into this hog. And there goes BX Hunter into the hole. Andrew Andrew really doing good on this road hog. Mercy Alpha Hall responds as KO takes point immediately. And another pick from Andrew Andrew. And that's gonna be pretty good uh pretty good play there by uh, KO. Yeah, Andrew Andrew being one of KO's most recent pickups, it's proving to be very strong right now, along with Griffin and Yeet God. All showing off, you know, they're here to find the battle and show off. Oh, and PowerPoint taking out. Oh, Tex gets picked off immediately, though. And so does Griffin. PowerPoint on this McCree seems to be unstoppable. Taking the shots on the Eat God. He has the high ground, gets a third. PowerPoint. Colin Piney gets a fourth and a fifth. PowerPoint okay, killing PowerPoint. everyone. Going on that ultimate flank there, Han McCree taking out the whole team by himself. As you can see, though, that alt bank favoring, um, actually not really favoring either team here. Similar, close to alts. KO, though, does have almost six alts and Valhalla only four, so KO has all the alts, but Valhalla has the ones that will be most valued in this comp. So uh, we'll see how Valhalla plays around the six alts, and we'll see how. KO uses their six ults. Hope they don't waste them all. Uh, of course, not all six are online, but they are close to them. As Hunter backing up, though, falling low. Both superchargers are activated, but the shielding for Valhalla might be too much. High noon, pop, and depot gets two on the soldier. The flux from Brow Daddy to get out of that well gets two with it. Both supports go down, and Brow Daddy on the Sigma looks to be. Unstoppable right now, and Valhalla just showing another level of coordination as they use only two ults, and it's both their tank ults, and they're easily able to counter a uh, alt bank of almost six ults. I think here we're gonna have to see a really some really big ults come from KO if they want to retake the point. Valhalla already have it at 60, almost 70 percent. Griffin's gonna have to be very sneaky, dude. As you Valhalla can see, though, PowerPoint, though. 
PowerPoint's waiting in this room behind uh, Valhalla's choke. We'll see what he tries to do here. I think he's trying for the high noon, but he's waiting for them to poke out a bit. PowerPoint, Flash fans Fire. got the moral one. He pops. Oh, Andrew gets knocked off. That's tragic. PowerPoint, though, gets text with the high noon and anti poke gets rid of Griffin. The res comes through on Brow Daddy, but PowerPoint is permanently dead now. No res for him. Sights comes through for him and Depot, and bye bye KO. I don't think they'll have anyone able to touch. Andrew, Andrew, not fast. Oh, actually, you will Yeet see he got on the Genji. Andrew, Andrew gets the hook and not able to finish the kill, though. You see Griffin coming back on the soldier. Andrew, Andrew popping that whole hog, maybe just trying to back him up into the hole. Brow Daddy uses the flux again. Gets two with it yet again. Mystic trying to come in, just touch on the Moira, gets picked, and now you just see the funneling in, and that will be it for round one as Valhalla, after a little bit of a rough first fight, clean it up and overall hold well pretty well. It seems like Kale was having a reverse situation that they've been having. Instead of overholding this time, they were holding their ults a bit too long. Sometimes you just gotta pop those ults and see if you get at least one or two picks. You don't have to go for the, you know, 5k's every time. You just take out the mercy, that's all you need. Yeah, if, you, uh, if, if I'm correct, um, I don't think Griffin ever popped his visor or uh, barrage, barrage, actually. He, took, or he, po he, he popped got, it once, yeah. Yeah, he got, um, I think he only got like one. But I'm pretty sure they hold Valk and Coalescence that whole time and that coalescence and valk are two alts that charge decently fast so it's we're not seeing either teams use those but andrew andrew now on the winston poking on the sigma uh interesting comp here from ko but you do see just a ryan diva with a symmetra though from valhalla but powerpoint still on that mccree as you would hope so he popped off and griffith gets booped off immediately Yeet God almost got knocked off the edge too. Moosh on this Lucio is doing very good. BX Hunter though just pushing up on this Reinhardt. Brow Daddy though gets two. And BX Hunter and Brow Daddy are seeming to be a really strong tank line as they are just bullying through KO right now. Tex can't get away and that's going to be a full pretty much team wipe almost on the side of Valhalla. Yeah, you just see Ryan Zarya. We're gonna have to get something for that sim. She's already all set up and only 34% to her old, but still. You do see the Ryan Zarya swap here coming from KO. Andrew, Andrew. He claims to be the best Ryan tier 3. Let's see what he does with that. We do see poking on the Zarya. Andrew, Andrew gets the bubble and getting the healing. He's able to play a little bit aggressive, but BX Hunter, of course, way leading in that shatter percentage as he has been Ryan longer. Brow Daddy almost has the bomb as well. Andrew Andrew, though, gets Power Point, who got poked out. Rez coming from Hex, and it comes through, but Brow Daddy gets DMAC. The lack of healing while that Mercy is rezzing can be evident, but Andipo gets Griffin on that Reaper, and it's a shatter for BX Hunter. Gets three, and Valhalla comes for oh wait yeet god gets a pick and andrew andrew gets rezzed this could be turnable for ko brow daddy gets knocked Bo off the edge with the bomb oh no that's high noon comes through from yeet god doesn't get much grab is used by poking though he charged that pretty decently fast and that's gonna be ko flipping the fight around in their favor as that was it was good from them. They were able to turn that fight, but they empty all alts, but so does Valhalla. They switched over to the Zarya, ignore the bomb, but they used Shatter, they used B, they used their Valk. All they have is High Noon, pretty much, and Depot does switch to the Torb as well, but Griffin gets poked out again. Griffin, not able to get much done with this Reaper. He keeps getting stunned and just focused down. BX Hunter, though, taking the Rhine duel with Andrew Andrew, but Andrew Andrew has that Shatter. He wants to use it. BX Hunter, though, kind of on his lonesome, no team behind him. His reinforcements are coming through. Andrew, Andrew, waiting to pop that shatter. Just waiting. A pin comes through from BX Hunter. The high noon from PowerPoint gets blocked. Andrew, Andrew, able to block it all. Shatter comes through. He gets killed during shatter. And that's going to be Valhalla up two picks right now. No picks coming through from KO. No damage at all. They use the coalescence, but it gets shattered. BX Hunter forcing that coalescence to be a waste. But I don't know if they needed to use that shatter to ensure that. But uh, Andrew, Andrew, switching over to the ball now. Of course, you do have to touch point here. It is 86%. Yeah, 
The res comes through on the Yeet God, so they'll just have more people to help Andrew Andrew when it comes down to it, though. As you see, he's just kind of rolling around the ball, waiting to touch. 98 strikes, he does touch, and he almost knocks in Depot off the map, but he doesn't. Griffin uses the ult, but doesn't get anyone. The, uh, the Lucio will be able to help. Yeet God pops the high noon, doesn't get much with that either. And now KO seems to be reeling here. Tex dies to the Molten Core, and Valhalla takes map one. Oh, oh no, wait, no, Andrew still... Andrew touches back on the ball, and that will be it. And, um, overall, um, Valhalla did well. Valhalla did a really good job of holding their ults, making sure to use them at appropriate times. Um, overall, just great play from them, but... Of course, KO also did well. They did well on those fights that they did win, but they just couldn't hold these wins. They spaced out their alts. Their positioning wasn't prime use, but <laughs> PowerPoint using that L2 button pretty efficiently gets three with it. Ooh, it's rough. Yeah, PowerPoint is looking very, very strong tonight. On oh, that McCree, did take out <laughs> first map well. They didn't even need any boop characters, it just rolled through KO. KO was doing a really good job, but Bahala just stepped it up a little bit more. And uh if we're if we're thinking about it too, we have kind of a reverse role here. Um KO last season was uh f I believe fourth in the standings. Uh KO was a very strong team last season, of course. They did lose a lot of their tank line, which is Kakashi and Swede. They lost Zombie Dylan as well. So it's a little bit of a like big trio that you lost for KO there. And it's a little bit of a rebuild stage. And you can see Andrew Andrew kind of filling a hole for Swede there on that main tank. But I don't know if you can fill the Zombie Dylan sized hole on that DPS line. Zombie Dylan, now on I Need Healing, is a very strong hit scan player. His Ash is one of the best. Widow is one of the best. His McCree is quite good. Oh my God. I don't think you can fill that hole well. Well, inside of Valhalla, Valhalla was, uh, I, I believe, bottom five team last season. They locked down the seventh seed, or it might have been eighth seed, actually, um, of course. But they are coming back here and looking strong, looking like maybe a top three team right now, the way they've been playing. They look like they've actually found some t type of, like, comm structure in there. Comms have been really solid from what we can see on, on the outside. Can't really hear their comms, but they seem to look pretty well. Their target focus is there, their alt usage is there, they are charging alts efficiently, using them efficiently, getting the picks they need with them efficiently. It's a very strong play from Valhalla, and I don't think many teams can rival that. Yeah, I think, like, I was, I forgot what I was telling in White Walkers that Valhalla is just their tank line. Brow Daddy and BX Hunter is extremely deadly. Then you add PowerPoint, and it's almost nearly impossible to stop. Oh, there we go. We got our swaps. We're bringing in Dr. Penguin for Pokin. I got that one. Also, AJ coming in for Yeet God. And we have Wukong coming in for Mystic. Are I think these are good swaps. Main? You're, uh, you're, go <laughs> <laughs> you're going into, uh, Eichenwald with, uh, with a pretty solid understanding of what the map is. It's a brawl map. You see Dr. Penguin, uh, Kind of a Zarya, he's a hit scan on DPS, and then a Zarya, I guess, I mean, the tracking can transfer over pretty well from Zarya to hit scan and from hit scan to Zarya, so we'll see how that works. Oh my god. Uh, AJ, a pretty strong Sombra Hanzo. Uh, his Kree is pretty solid too, but I think the Sombra is going to be a real reason they could win these fights. Uh, get behind them, hack Brow, make sure they don't have the aggressiveness with the Zarya that Brow or BX Hunter will be playing. Or the Reinhardt aggressiveness that either of them will be playing. They both have similar hero pools, and that Brow Daddy can swap to that Reinhardt and dominate at any time. And BX Hunter could also play a really good Reinhardt. Same with Brow Daddy on Zarya and BX Hunter on Zarya. I think Brow Daddy wins that Sigma battle though pretty heavily, as Brow Daddy on Sigma has looked near unstoppable in these first two games. I'm, I'll be back. I have a call. But yeah, let's. I'm, I'm excited to see what Andrew Andrew plays this round, especially with 
Dr. Penguin coming in. Not sure if. Hopefully they build that synergy because sometimes you gotta have a good off tank to play with you. Oh, and I got both ready from both teams. Hopefully everything's resolved with Zanny and he comes back. But for the meantime, let's go on into Eichenvolve. Sorry about that. I had a friend call me and he's a good friend of mine, so I had to answer. No worries. If it need be, I can cat and comedy for a little bit by myself. Oh, it's Enjoy fine. It, he, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. He can be he can be put off for a bit. He he's he can be patient sometimes. Impatient at most times though. But whatever. But uh, we do see um, Eichenwald coming through here. Eichenwald very strong brawl map. Both of these teams run brawl. Um, I think overall KOs look stronger on brawl so far. But they're gonna try the double shield here on defense. Which I do like. Double shield on here, on this map on defense is very strong if you can hold first point. I think it's very strong in third. Second point, it might be a little bit hard unless you control that high ground well. Of course, the Ash coming through and the Soldier from AJ. I've never seen AJ play Soldier, but uh, I'll see how AJ does. Should be fun. We just see Bap coming in from Wukong. Hey, maybe we'll transfer that DPS Mora to his Bap and just hold Especially our two. Especially with that huge new window. Oh, we saw it yesterday, and that was magnificent. We call that the IMAX Theater. Um, I think BX Hunter was calling it the the garage door now. It is also the garage door. Yeah, but um, a little inside joke from Crypto as he calls it the who opened the IMAX. Didn't know we had a home theater. But you just see a Ryan Diva coming in from uh from Valhalla, and uh, honestly, I'm a little bit confused. I think the Zarya would be stronger here, but maybe that Diva is part of their plan. As you do see the far from Ravioli team just putting in that shield damage. As both shields are broken for KO, they don't have much to do work with. Andrew Andrew places that Arissa shield though as fast as he can. Sigma shields out too though. They gotta be able to rotate these shields better. As you can see, their shields are kind of going way fast. But Hex gets picked off by Griffin. That's the one unresable pick on Valhalla right now. But that's the same thing goes for uh, KO, but VX Hunter gets poked out. Ravioli staying on that window. She's low, but the anti comes through from Masala. And that's a big anti. AJ, though, gets a pick on Ravioli staying on that Fara. Penguin still fighting on the Sigma, but he will go down as well. And that'll be the fight. Uh, that'll be the point taken by Valhalla. And I think that anti kills him right there. That was one. Yeah, that. That anti nade by Masala literally got them, got Ravioli all those kills. You don't need to be in this guy to get kills as far off. Not at all. Open. Oh no, there's still Ravioli on Farah. I thought they, I thought Ko got a far as well. That would have been <laughs> fun to see. Far you just see a double hit scan though from Ko, so we'll see if. Ravioli Stain can win this as uh, as he gets Griffin, but as she gets Griffin, but she will fall down to the dynamite and the soldier just damage bomb coming in through for Brow Daddy destroys the immortality field. But in the front line, you see BX Hunter and Brow taking the picks here, as you do see AJ and Cat from Texo on the soldier and the mercy kind of reeling here. Barrage juice from Ravioli Stain to get them both, and oh no, Griffin's in trouble here. Came out of spawn a little bit late. And that will be another pick for Valhalla, and it looks like they will take point B as well with almost no contestion. As Andrew Andrew might try and touch, but he's just gonna turn right back around, but he gets oh, slapped. Andrew Andrew's gotta be able to get out of here with his life if KO wants to hold close here. The pin from BX Hunter showing he has brute aggression. Griffin gets picked off by Raph, but the sights are used by AJ. So is the Sigma lift from Dr. Penguin, gets Masala on the Ana. It could be rust from Hex, but is KO going to be able to use the aggression against that? Hex trying to look for a res, but nothing coming through. Andrew, Andrew pushing up aggressive, but the pin gets Dr. Penguin. And the tanks go down for KO. A little bit too aggressive. They don't have their supports or their DPS back them up. AJ backed into a corner. Tanks out the soldier in a corner. Tex maybe looking for a res. Griffin gets taken down on that Reaper as well. And KO's got to back up here. Hope they don't get picked off. It's just their supports. Dr. Penguin, though, able to give the bubble to Tex, who was falling low, but so is Wukong Lu. And you do see 
uh, KO trying to take this fight here, but they are backed up into a corner. Shatter comes through with the bomb, gets two. Grav gets Penguin, and that's Valhalla rolling through uh, Eichenwald as soon as Tex is done. Falcon here, Bob used, and yep, that's going to be four minutes and 38 left in the time bank. It's little to no contention from KO after point A. Right, that's that was one heck of an attack. With still four minutes and thirty-eight seconds, Baha just went in and just kept going in strong. Yeah, I feel bad. I Kitty barely got to speak. The fights were just never ending, and <laughs> fights no, just it's fled okay. right into another. <laughs> Had to pull out the motor mouth. Yeah, he just got one pick after another pick, and but how just didn't they didn't want KO to like? They didn't be able have. To regroup. They didn't give KO. They didn't give KO a chance to, you know, collective say as a team, just like... I feel like that's one thing that KO needs right now, is a large, like, loud voice just to say, Hey, everyone, stop talking for a sec, we gotta regroup, enter this fight properly, and match their aggression. But no, they've kinda just staggered in ever since point A, and it's been rough to come back from that. Of course, I feel like Griffin's getting poked out a lot, kinda playing on his own sometimes, and it gets punished really easily. As you do see a Rhine Sigma coming in through here, no double shield with the Orisa, but you do see the Reinhardt Sigma instead. Of course, the Rhine Zarya, but Andrew Andrew gets antied, and that's going to be a quick cleanup from Valhalla, as they're just going to take all these picks for free. Griffin's got to watch out, though. He's only half health, and Valhalla's playing pretty aggressive. AJ on the Sombra is just going to get out with a quarter, not even a quarter, probably a penny of his health. I think he barely he bumped into Brow and that turret just started hitting him. <laughs> Gotta watch him for the turret. As you see here, Griffin does get rid of that turret though, that's a lot of damage and just, uh, overall poke gone. And BX Hunter gets picked off in a place where not might be resible. And that's a big pick for KO, they gotta push it up aggressive, but maybe not pin straight into the team, Andrew. But he's able to live, and Masala's getting poked out on their own. Rav, though, gets Griffin. Griffin maybe playing on his own there. No, Rav's on the flank, actually. And there goes Hex. AJ hits a mid-air, and Valk with the Rockets. AJ gets another pick, actually making sure that, uh, that, uh, Flux doesn't actually get to finish. And that's a AJ actually popping on the Soldier, gets a third. And that's Anime Weeb AJ on this soldier, kind of showing some uh, flexibility here. Like, I'm sure AJ probably wanted to keep playing Zamba, but sometimes he's got to get more damage and got to gotta go with the legs. I guess the fact that uh, Valhalla is also running kind of like an anti Sombra comp here. They have the Sigma with the constant spy checking, they have the Torb turret always watching for to stop hacks. Very good comp here from. Uh, from Valhalla to prevent Sombra from being played, and that's a pick on Andrew Andrew. Andrew Andrew kind of playing on his own there. That's well, not something you want to see a, from your main tank. A cat pocket on Lucio, but still, he was pushing up way too much. And, and the Shadow is... gets the Lucio, but Tech's able to get out. No, actually, the Molten Core is able to finish him off. Andrew Andrew, though, kind of coming in on his own. PX Hunter, though, does get picked off. AJ does use the visor, maybe trying to get some picks here, but the shield is coming through. AJ not able to get many picks. That Torb turret though needs to be taken out. Looks like more of a zoning visor. Let's get the coalescence is used by oh. Wukong Lu, but it gets rocked. The coalescence gets canceled by the rock. Andrew Andrew though playing real on his own here has the shatter, but is falling low with no shield and, and the and anti and the oh. dynamite. That's gonna be rough. And Andrew Andrew ends up getting picked off. No shield is burning. Has a dynamite on him. And the anti, of course. Bob gets thrown, and KO's got a reel here. They gotta get out of harm's way before they get picked here. Book of Sorrows on this Ash is actually doing insanely good. Known as more of an Ana player, but did climb to Diamond and is playing this DPS role for Valhalla. Still saying, I wanna play for this team no matter what. 
and is proving his worth here on this DPS here. I really thought they played more Zen, Book of Zoros. I saw them playing Zen more than often than anything last season. And a Zen. Yeah, okay. and a Zen. A lot of that. You see Andrew having that shatter. They have the grab. They almost have the dragons. They have the ults. Let's see if they can win the fight, though. Andrew taking the swings, though. Looking for a shatter, maybe. How's the shield? The beat is used to engage here, though. From cat from text. Lift is used. Andrew pushes up too far and dies. Rao gets two. Hunter gets another. And Valhalla wins that rock. fight. Onto and both support alts are used and <laughs> Yes, oh, thank you, BX God. Hunter. He teabagged them. <laughs> oh my god, I love you. Wu gets cancelled again out of coalescence. He's not having fun. Poor Lu. It seems like Andrew and just keep pushing in a bit too aggressive, and the rest of KO is just not quite there yet with them. KO though has a decent rotation, gets their uh gets their DPS to that high ground, which is where they get the most of their damage from. But Andrew Andrew holding that shield, it does get broken, but that turret gets taken out. Book of Sorrows, they'll fall low on the ash, maybe has to duck behind cover for a bit. They finally do drop though. Grab is used, gets both tanks. The Lucy uh the dragons is used, and the grab dragons gets used successfully. Book get tanks get taken out, but the torp is in the back line. Turret gets picked off though by Griffin. Griffin finally showing his worth here on this KO lineup, getting three there. And he almost and fell off the, the map. Line pushing up. Griffin almost fell off the map and then he just had to climb back up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, oh, he, and oh, he, he gets, gets headshot in the head oh, by Ravioli. My. Griffin oh, is not no. having a fun time, is he? That's a lot of times where he's just been poked out due to stuns or just getting headshot there. Maybe he has to start playing a little bit more just protective here, passive, not being able to peak angles aggressively as he wants to as these players on Valhalla do have the mechanics to stop it. BX Hunter though does get taken down. The shatter is used by Andrew Andrew but he's anti. He can't stay on his own like that forever. But the visor is used from AJ cleaning up kills. Bob is used. They gotta destroy his Bob as fast as possible. And Bob gets knocked up to a high ground where he can look over all of them but Bob will get taken out. It's just Brown and Masala. Andrew pinning in gets Masala. And that's gonna be the Reinhardt from BX Hunter getting picked off. And then Andrew does, does get picked off. There's some chance here for Valhalla to flip this. Moncor is used. Ravioli staying on this. Torbjorn is playing really aggressive here. Griffin though on the Junkrat though. This is a very good spot for it. Tex gets Brow on the Lucio. They have a bit of redditing. Griffin gets picked off. And so does Wu though. And KO loses his fight only 3 to a 4 with a spawn advantage. And that's got to be rough for KO. They invest they their ult. They almost ults. had it in the bag. Look how close the payload is. We do have three ults, almost four coming in. And it looks like only maybe a Bob will be built by Valhalla and maybe the Flux. I think the Flux will for sure be built here. Maybe even Shatter. BX Hunter is able to swing freely as he's been able to. Rav used. It gets three. They gotta get some picks off of it. Andrew Andrew gets picked, and so does Penguin. The tanks get picked off of the grab. Griffin, though, caught on his own on Junkrai, is going to die here pretty soon. And that's gonna be only the support ults have here from uh, KO, and they're getting pushed back far. Brown and Masal on this Lucio and this Sigma are doing work. Sounds like Brown Masala just shouted into their spawn. Try to go in. But here you we see go, KO does have shattered. time for another touch here to try and get Valhalla that though builds like Valhalla built like five ults. Yep, like they, they have ults there. ults there. Cole Essence is used in the Molten Cores as well. Both support ults used. Andrew Andrew has a shatter. Has got to use it. BX Hunter shatters. It doesn't get much. Andrew, you got to use the shatter here, but he dies. Ooh, the tire though tire. could be big. The res coming through from uh, Hex though. He had the Lucio V protection. And Bob gets three. Bob finishing all the kills. And that's going to be Book of Sorrows on this Ash. All overall dominating. KO goes down 2 0. And that's unfortunate. Okay, so I'm, all I'm saying right now is uh, Bob for MVP. Yeah.
Not even Book of Sorrows, it's just Book of Sorrows in parentheses Bob. Um Frow on the Sigma has been unstoppable. Look at this flux. He picks up four. They have no fade to get out of it. The two Sigma orbs hit. Griffin gets taken down as well. And then so does Wu. And that's the story of the match so far is just tanks are getting their supports here. I think KO is a little bit lost here. Their tanks, I don't think they're communicating when they're going in. So it gets to a point where it's like they're committing to fights and their supports aren't knowing of that and just kind of get left in the dust and KO just kind of dies for it. I think that's also what's been happening to a lot of these teams who didn't get their wins in their first week or teams that barely squeaked by is that their tanks are playing way more aggressive than their supports and their DPS kind of get left in the fray where they need the healing but the supports kind of have to try and run to the tanks and it's almost like these teams are not playing in a cohesive unit they're playing in this almost 2-2-2 two, two, two sections where the tanks will push up the supports will be in the back trying to heal their team and the DPS will kind of be in the middle of wherever either on a flank or just trying to play with their tanks and their supports at the same time and it ends up just being really bad for them well Excuse we gotta keep in mind too time. that uh ko a lot of their tanks are like some of them are brand new pickups and they're still trying to synergize with each other valhalla have had these, these tanks at least all last season so by now they know how to play with each other they know oh i'm doing the wrong thing they know when when to get aggressive, when not to, and KO is just uh, still trying to get their groove back. Let's see if I remember everybody swaps. Okay, spectate blue. D man is also blue. Um, and Paul. Um, Moosh. PowerPoint. Almost everybody. Yep, that's everybody from. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Alrighty, I'm just gonna ask for these swaps, and we should be able to get on to Anubis. So right here it is going to be. If we if Valhalla does win this map, they take the game. But we can very much see a. Reverse sweep coming from KO and taking us to a map 5, which I do hope because I enjoy map 5s. And oh, it looks like we are seeing not PowerPoint coming in on tank this round, along with Book of Sorrows, which is a brand new something I haven't really seen before, I don't think. And we have Moosh and Weird Flex. Wait, what? Oh my god, Rav. You gave it to me. Okay, not PowerPoint for <sighs> See now I did it all wrong. Cause Okay. Let me do the original one where I had okay, Brow and Hunter. I am back. I'm sorry for the wait. It's okay. I was doing some things away from my controller and my PlayStation for that re for that matter. And uh, you do Not see PowerPoint for okay. Yeah, it really gave me a weird lineup change, and I messed it up a little bit. Okay, then Moosh for weird <laughs> flex. So I get confused. Okay, I think this should be right. So Brow, because she said. No PowerPoint for Book of Sorrows. I did Brown. that. Brown. And then yeah. Moosh for mm. Weird Flex. Okay. And then for KO, we have Poking and AJ on on Tank this round. So that should be fun to, to see. No, Roster and Poking. Oh my god. I thought he meant Roster. Like, this is the Roster for. <laughs> 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 I need another energy drink. Kitty, we both know AJ doesn't play tank. AJ does play a mean Reinhardt, and I like his diva. Kitty, you think KO would put AJ on tank when his DPS is I mean, far better? You never know. You never know. <laughs> Rohan. Okay, we Rohan. have Griffin. 
And Mystic on support. Ooh, I always like Griffin support. We have... So it looks like Wu is opting out. I think he's too tired of getting teabagged. <laughs> it's okay. You can come in... Matt Wrong Matt. one, I'm Wrong sorry. One. Rohan. <laughs> yeah. Second time, bro. Yo, yeah, what's up, stream? What's up, stream? Our first cameo of the night. <laughs> Let's go, Rohan. Bye. <laughs> okay. If you guys don't watch Tier 2, that is Young Habibi on his alt account, which is the same exact name. Uh, and he plays for Bushido Banzai. Make sure to check out his game, as he is a pretty strong DPS, one of my good friends. Um, go check him out. He's a very funny guy. See, even Chuck knows AJ on Ryan. Please give it to us. <sighs> Chuck, Chuck, go go back to your other game. Chuck, you're playing too. You haven't. You're playing good Prodigy Noobs. Go go. No, get, not get not wrong, Chuckster. Uh, Seth Trulens. Uh, his his oh. PSN's Chuckle Doctor, so I call him Chuck. Oh well, you're fine then. I thought it was Holy Chuckster. I was like, get out, Boomer. It's a joke, by the way. Boomer. He was being called Boomer. <laughs> it's our a joke. Newest, He's best. Our newest Boomer and stream team who has arrived. Yes. Kind of wanted to ask to like come cast, but I forgot that he's playing today. I think they he should have started already. I believe. Um, they have. How did you they're versus starting Stabbing Phoenix. Yep. Should be a good game. Both teams won 3 1, I believe. Or DP actually won 4 0. That's right. Last week, Prodigy Noobs won 4 0. And same thing. Actually, didn't both teams win 4 0s their last games? Uh, Prodigy Noobs won 3 1 against Sanction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sanction right, did right. take a map off of them. And then Diamond Phoenix took a 4 0. Yep. So that should be a really, really interesting match to watch. Yeah, Prodigy Noobs are a new team coming in here. A lot of players I'm familiar with. Uh, I think the only people that I, you saw from last season were uh, Cloud Lemon and. Uh, uh, boss, uh, boss, Bab, uh, two players, a support player who played in tier two, of course, and uh, Cloud being part of that White Walkers championship team last season. Very strong mercy, very strong support in general. We'll see. Uh, if you see Cloud on the Zen, just hide. He's gonna come for your heads. Indeed. So what are we Anubis see here, here, aka Temple Draw Anubis. You do oh, see a lot of draws on this map. If we do it's get a either. draw, that'd still be a, a game for Valhalla, unfortunately. That would be true. KO. KO does have to take this map to stay in it. So their attack here does have to come out strongly. Did I switch sides? I don't think I switched. And power points play in the Widow. He wants that 4-0. He might get it. Of course, playing that Widow PowerPoint, known for his very strong Widow play. Aww, Chuck, He's... what do you mean you're not gonna play? <laughs> Sad face. I'm still gonna call you Chuckle Doctor, I'm sorry. But I know everybody else knows you as Seth Trollins, but I still know you as Chuckle. Yeah, uh, you, you gotta you gotta come back to playing. Yeah, honestly, the, I think there was one time when he played Farah and Doomfist, and whew, the man popped off. Bye. In a quick play game, but oh my goodness, that was scary to watch. <laughs> it throws in in a quick play game real quick. <laughs> AJ though on the Sombra, maybe a little bit of a dive DPS, but not the dive tanks for it though. AJ though able to get through choke pretty fast. You do see though that there's the Lucio Anna, so no mercy for Ravioli stand. Let's hope Masala can hit those shots, but Rav though running out of fuel in that room. And running to one health, and Syndicate's able to finish that pick. And PowerPoint, though, has a weird angle there, but is able to get the pick on the Sombra. PowerPoint wants another Syndicate anti right now on that Genji. We'll see how it and works slept. with him, but he does get slept, but the uh, healing does come through from Mystic, though. As Syndicate, though, trying to just farm Blade, maybe get a huge Blade in coming. You just see the... Just kind of poking back and forth are both teams and a pin from uh, Pokin, but he gets slept and down. Brow though does get the pick and Brow approaching that flux pretty rapidly. Might be able to use it before this fight ends. As there goes Mystic. AJ though picks off PowerPoint on that Sombra though. He might get picked off again though, but he does use the Translocator. Get a hack on to Ravioli Stain so she can't fly up there and he's going to be able to get away with his life. And uh... 
Interesting fight there. KO gets the first pick, but Valhalla does a really good really good job of rotating and being able to realize that those tanks can only play on low ground. So if they take that point presence before they do, they have a pretty strong chance of winning that fight. Yeah, it looks like we might be seeing, we could be seeing a nano, not nano, sorry, a EMP blade from the side of KO since both the DPS are at least halfway to their ults. And the PowerPoint gets the pick. PowerPoint. That's that's mean, man. The hack though on uh, on the PowerPoint in the back. AJ trying to pressure that widow, but you do see the supercharger pop by BX Hunter to maybe take that frontline presence. But AJ is able to pop up, uh, get rid of PowerPoint. That's a good pick though. The Valk is used to res roster. KO though has a chance to re-enter this fight. Syndicate gets back on that Genji and almost has the blade. The flux though is used. Syndicate falling low, but the beat is used and the all is canceled. Poking a good shatter. Roosh is falling low. There's no Lucio beat for the blade if they use it. Syndicate approaching it. The flux is used. Masala and Brow Daddy both lifted up in the air and they will go down. Syndicate cleaning up these kills on this Genji. And that will be the fight for KO. And KO finally showing some life here. Maybe being out, maybe saying that they want to get a map, even maybe may take this to a map five and win it all. They just gotta hope that they can play better than they have in these first two maps. Cause I gotta admit, they have not been looking too strong. Actually, I think they do have um, one of the comments in chat. They do have the ro roster's shield to. The hack on the Rav though. Rav has no fuel to get out of here. They gotta take out this far though while they can. And Rav gets picked off in the corner. That's a good pick, but Pokin left on is lonesome. The rest from Mystic though does come through and they bring their shield tank back. This could be big. The EMP blade is ready. AJ from the high ground looking to pop it. EMP's used. Blade's used. One down. Maybe another coming in. Maybe that Kree goes down. The Kree goes down, slashing through, and Syndicate gets taken out by the far though. But these are big picks coming through. Ravioli's tank gets hacked on this Farah. AJ doing a really good job of countering this Farah with Sombra. You see Valhalla just trying to stagger in here. KO is down one. The Flux is used, but the B is used by Griffin almost simultaneously as that B health is already taken down though. And Griffin gets taken down as well. B used from Valhalla. AJ though getting a hack through onto BX Hunter on the Reinhardt. But he is just aggressing with pure force. And there goes KO. Got a tick, but they're not able to finish the fight. 58% is still not bad. Halfway. Just gotta get one big push in here. Ooh, we can see Ravioli switch up to the... The Torb. Guess she's just tired of AJ on... Sombra. On that Sombra. Yep. Ravioli's saying, like, you know what? I'm, I'm done with you. Popping out the Torb. You see AJ, though, approaching uh, EMP again. He's real close to it. As the turret is though preoccupied, but AJ kind of taking a peak battle with it. Flux is used, and it's big from roster. They all are half health, of course. That is what Flux does. Syndicate takes out PowerPoint, and just the pure aggression. And AJ gets three on the Sombra. You don't see that very often. You don't see a Sombra getting that many picks. The hack on a Brav, so he can't get any more kills. He gets Mystic, though. That's a big pick. But no one else will touch from Valhalla, and KO finishes the map. I think that's the first time they have finished a map so far in this series. They were not able to finish any control maps, not take a single round. They weren't able to finish Eichenwald. So, yeah, this is the first time they've been able to finish a round by taking over both objectives or finishing the round on top, basically. Finishing the round and with some extra time, so here they just got a full hold Valhalla and just keep this game going. Oh, we have to full hold. They can full. Uh, they can hold on second point. As honestly, in my opinion, second point's a little bit easier to hold as uh, the rotations can be unpredictable on first point sometimes, and uh, on second point it's pretty general to where you can see them rotating. Even though there's a lot of structures, you can see there are spots where you can see where they're rotating to and just kind of plan accordingly. Oh, it looks like Seth has us with that update. One O Prodigy noobs currently against good. Diving Phoenix. It's a very good map take from them. Diving Phoenix is a very strong team. Uh, Semi finalists uh, last season and uh, were the only team to beat White Walkers during the regular season last season, which White Walkers almost undefeated. Of course, Diving Phoenix, like I said, were the team that knocked them off of that podium. But White Walker still finished through and won the whole thing, so I don't think that loss was too big of a, too big of a uh, almost like a speed bump for them. Slowed them down, but didn't 
didn't ruin their momentum. So you just see a very similar comp though from KO here. Only things that are different is the support line. AJ though sitting on that high ground is Sombra. Waiting for something. Rav though on her own on this Farah gets hacked. AJ will be able to get that pick too. And AJ does a really good job on the Sombra of just focusing Rav in the back line. But you just see Griffin though falling low on this uh, uh, on this Anna. And AJ gets poked out. Griffin falling really low. Able to D-Mech Brow Daddy, but Brow Daddy will be able to finish the kill. And Valhalla just gets these picks spaced out. But Pokin gets a good pin pick here. Syndicate's alive on this Genji still, but does get slept by Masala. But Mystic's able to keep him alive on the Baptiste, but no. And that'll be Valhalla being able to take the whole point as Rav switches to a Sombra of her own. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Ravioli on Sombra. Honestly. She played it a lot um, against Pizza Planet and got MVP for it actually. Oh. Rav's a very strong Samba player. Rock oh. comes in here and BX Hunter does get stunned, but that doesn't ruin the momentum. Browdy takes his high ground on this Diva. AJ though swapped over to the McCree instead of the Sombra. BX Hunter though, shield is gone. Mystic just trying to live on this Mercy. But the picks keep flowing through. Syndicate only gets one. The DPS have gotten two, though. The spawn advantage might be too much for Valhalla at this point. They have lost two, and it's their McCree and their Reinhardt. Syndicate, though, just touching, making sure they can't finish this map right now on this Genji. Getting boot back. And Pokin, the Doesn't Shatter, touch. he's not able to touch, though. Oh, no. That is rough. In five minutes for Valhalla. That is a large time pick. That's just unfortunate. It did seem that KO, a few of the people got caught out in that high ground whenever Valhalla started taking that top rotation and instead of dropping they just try to fight in there and at some point you just gotta drop and not, not fight in, into the other team. I think one thing that was missing from this uh, from this uh, kind of thing from KO is they're missing a really solid like anchor on this tank line right now um bx hunter and browder are kind of taking this like really hard aggressiveness and tanks are either backing up or dying trying to counter that aggressiveness but the healing from this anna on the side of valhalla is just healing them way too much yeah like i said brow and bx hunter are just they got that synergy like extremely down and done they hello well ko still still needs to find that that good tank combo to roll with. You know, we've seen Roster, Pokin, Andrew, Andrew. Five, four, three, two, so we gotta find, one. they gotta find what their good combination is and just keep, keep it going. You see AJ on the window now oh, and taking and out, takes out Power Boy. My goodness, AJ. AJ, he wants to assert that he is a good DPS and he asserted that currently. AJ looking for more though, getting Rav quite low, but they are able to recover. It gets Brow though. AJ though is bringing all the picks. Will he be able to keep KO in this? They are taking brute aggression. It's only the one tank and two supports. The res though from Moosh, just right in front of all of KO on Brow, and it works. AJ though with the Venom mine gets Moosh. Pokin gets the supports. No supports for Valhalla right now. It's just their tanks and PowerPoint on the Widow. Can they recover? PowerPoint has taken the high ground, but Syndicate's coming up there to reap havoc. And there goes PowerPoint. PowerPoint trying to do the quick 180, but not able to do that. Rav coming in on the far just to stall a little bit more off that time bank, but gets poked by Roster. Come on, Roster, come on. Just let Rav live a little. She was just trying to do her job, Roster. <laughs> Rav does switch to the May and PowerPoint onto the Genji. Interesting. Syndic and AJ over to the Sombra, the mind games are happening. Syndicate does have this Genji Blade, looking to use it and aggress. Getting those supports low, but the nade does come through, but he gets Masala anyway. But he does get taken down for it, but it's a two for one trade. Pokin gets May, aka Rav, and there's the aggressiveness from Pokin, but the shatter from Pokin as well, taking out Moosh, and KO is showing their aggressiveness. They're showing that they can just go in, and Pokin gets a little bit of a teabag there on the BX. Maybe some revenge for Wu there. Anti comes through from Masala though, gets both tanks. And they're just trying to, and Valhalla though is getting this good stall. They have not been able to kill anyone who's stalling so far for K from KO. BX though, takes out Mystic, another pick for 
Valhalla, and Valhalla hasn't let up a tick yet. Rossi gets a hook, but not able to finish the kill on the power point. Power point using that meteor strike. They're trying to cut him off. Oh no, Roster and Griffin are stuck in this room right now. Griffin gets taken out, and so does Roster. And 15 seconds left, and Valhalla has to fight here. Power, I mean, Kyoto has to fight, but and AJ gets picked off by the Doomfist. Can anyone touch from KO here? I don't think anyone can touch. Unless Syndicate's able to just root through with a dash. No one's going to be able to touch. And they're going to not be able to take a single tick on second point. Okay, Kyo, you gotta, you guys got this. You gotta take them out and not let them get point one. Because if it goes to a draw, that's it for you guys. But how it does have five minutes, five minutes to build everything they want. They could build two ults each and just roll through this. This sounds to be okay. Um, gonna skip over that. Um, this is gonna have to be KO's best defense I think they've had all season, maybe in the last two seasons, holding for five minutes. It's it'll be very hard, but it's extremely doable. This is interesting. No Junkrat has been played yet on defense of Anubis. Oh, you're right. I haven't seen a Junkrat at all. No, it's crazy. And I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's a fact, but in my opinion, and I believe it, it might be true. The most played hero in tier three is Junkrat on DPS. Unfortunately, of course. you're 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 kind of right on that. I wish you weren't, Five, but four, I've seen way too many three, Junkrats. Two. I believe it's Junkrat and Reinhardt are the two most played. Oh, yeah. And Mercy, of course. And Mercy. But who doesn't want to play Mercy? Actually, a lot of people. I can think of a lot of people. But, um, <laughs> you do see the wall coming in, though. AJ delaying the push a bit. That is good. Knocking any time they can off of that board is very good. And a good rotation from KO. They're able to rotate back to this point. And Valhalla is rotated to this high ground, but KO is ready for the drop. AJ though and Pokin are kind of hiding. PowerPoint though on the Doomfish just slamming in. He's not able to get away though. He doesn't uppercut high enough. Then PowerPoint gets picked off for it. Pin coming through from BX Hunter though. BX Hunter does pick off AJ. This could be flip for Valhalla. They could take it right now. Syndicate though gets a pick and so does Griffin and Valhalla. They are losing members. Brad just trying to take out uh, Pokin here on this Diva. Pokin though able to get the support he needs. Brow Daddy and PowerPoint are the only ones alive. PowerPoint kind of came in late on the Doomfist. Does get punch, does punch Roster. Gets Roster low, but Roster's getting the healing necessary. PowerPoint is able to get away with his life. On Brow Daddy still that might fighting be bad, the though. Genji. Syndicate fighting <laughs> Brow Daddy on this left side, but Brow gets back to his team. But will Syndicate get picked off here? He does have the blade. He might be able to get away here. If he can get a pick or the dash reset, he does get the dash, though. Diva Bomb used. Pokin's got a shield here. The wall from AJ is very big there. The Nano used on the BX Hunter. But the Flux lifts him and Moosh in the air. The uh, Brow Daddy does, I mean, Syndicate does pick off Masal in the back line using that blade. Shatter comes through from Pokin. Knocks down a couple. Meteor Strike is used as well. Mystic trying to get the res there. Gets punched right as the res is about to end. Brow Daddy though in baby form. Rab uses the barrage. And that might be big. It's just Griffin. It's a 2v1 here. Griffin's got to get the picks here. Griffin gets one. But PowerPoint's able to get the pick. Someone's got to touch for KO here if they want to try and win. I don't no. think anyone can make it, though. Someone's got to swap ball. They're just going to let him have it. Nope, I think KO loses. It. It's just a sheer silence for KO. Oh, no. That's rough. So even though if they do full hold this, it'll still be a draw and Bahala does take this game. Of that is the hard truth here for KO. You do see PowerPoint though on the Stimfish just being a menace in this back line, but Rav picks off Pokin. That shield doesn't last for too long. BX though pins and picks off roster. Blizzard is used though by AJ, able to freeze up one of those actually that's Moosh, not Brow, I am 
not using my brain here, but Power Point gets smushed in between two Reinhardts, but Pokin does get picked off as both tanks are there for Valhalla. Valhalla might be able to take it here. Lasta gets another pick. Syndicate gets the pick with the blade, but the bomb comes through, spacing him off, and that blade is not able to finish off any more kills, but that is going to be a hold for Kale. And Rasta are able to get that stagger there. Yeah, Kale not letting Valhalla get even close to one tick. And they do have three ults, almost four, with Valkyrie. But on the side of Valhalla, we do have Nano and the X Hunter gets picked off by Syndicate. It was a very big pick. And PowerPoint, though, stuck kind of in. No cooldowns here when he gets out, but he does get out. He has that meter strike though, which if he dives in and uses all three cooldowns, he does have the meter strike to either escape or engage with and keep his team in this fight. Of course, one minute and 30 seconds left. Can KO get the draw and not not get another 4-0 here? Syndicate almost has that blade again. He is just kind of hesitating here to push. Mystic though does finally come to his aid, but getting frozen up by Ravioli stand. The front line though, kind of reeling. The shatter's blocked. Great job by Pokemon putting up that shield. They do have the blade though from Syndicate. He uses it and gets slapped. The sleep from Masala is very good there. Wish we had a replay mode here. Like and Mystic doing... shoots Ravioli in the head. Okay, Mystic. <laughs> Gotta pull out the clock, I get it. Even though KO has lost the match confirmed, they are still having fun. Fire Strike deflected, Syndicate getting a lot of deflects there. The Junkrat comes through from PowerPoint. We finally see Junkrat on Anubis. That might be a little too and late. Then... Not sure they can build a tire in 30 seconds. And... Unless they take it into overtime and can build it there, but still. Three still have ults a lot for of KO, ults on KO, but yes. four for Valhalla Syndicate. Just barely skips with his life. Pokin Shatter gets blocked and pinned, but BX Hunter gets picked off for it. And that That's a very blizzard. good starting pick. But the Blizzard catches four. Not the pick coming through, though. Only one pick comes out of it. The high noon from AJ is good. Both AJ fluxes are fluxes. used. And neither the I saw Hala able to capitalize off of theirs better than Nano on the brow. And KO will take oh. the third map. And they'll go up 3-0. That was really close for KO. They almost took this draw, but it's just that that last flux. Unfortunately, the Valhalla flux had a nano, and KO just didn't. Ah, uh, here's here's the room where it's just PowerPoint against all. PowerPoint just showing no mercy here. Ooh. Oh no, AJ. That was a nice rollout. Wait, Chuck, what are you talking about? KO's not 3-0. <laughs> you did it the wrong way. <laughs> That's not where we're at. You're lying to our viewers. Don't do that. Okay. Sadly, in KO's eyes, that is what they wish would be happening. Uh, Valhalla, though, is very happy with this. Uh, two straight matches where they have taken the first three maps. Um, pretty demandingly, of course. Anubis was the closest I think we've seen. Um from KO. Yeah, KO was just putting a lot of work there, but with a five minute time bank, it's just... It would have been nearly impossible to full hold that. Yeah. I mean, they had a pretty good start to it, it's just the picks from Valhalla came, to, came through too fast, the spawn advantage, that was rough for them. Yeah, but here we can still see KO try at least take one map off of Valhalla. You never know. You can see he took one Never know Valhalla could lose this 3 1 and KO could. Or not lose this 3 1, but. <laughs> Win this 3 1, yeah. <laughs> Win this 3 1. It's okay, apparently Zanny and I are having English problems today for some Chuck, reason. Chuck, you threw me off. Wait, what? Which Chuck? 
<laughs> KO three oh now you got me thinking KO won this Come on man. It's okay, KO won this in our hearts. That's what it is. In their hearts they won, yes. Yes. And if they take a map here they do win. Uh, in their eyes, I mean, Valhalla is looking to be a top three team this season, but just based off of these two maps matches alone. Uh, I believe up there with uh, Valhalla, I need healing, and Diving Phoenix, of course, at four. Um, I, I, I don't like tooting my own team's horn, but I mean, Stardust Crusaders is up in that top three as well, playing very well. As of late, uh, new team coming in. Same with, uh, I mean, I need healing, not a new team. But they are coming off of a season break and still looking as strong as ever. So, uh, Diving Phoenix in that fourth spot. I think they, if they beat Prodigy Noobs here, they could maybe take that three spot. But Valhalla has shown that they want that number, that top three in the standings and in power rankings, of course. Everyone, a select few in the server love to post their own opinions for power rankings every once in a while. And of course, uh, Jibba and Sebi to of our uh, highest uh, mods. Of course, the two of the architects have their own podcast here on the Oasis Twitch account, and they do power rankings and match overviews, and we could, of course, see... You can also tune in there, and if you haven't watched... if you Say, let's say you only watched this game and you want to know what happened during the other games, you go watch that podcast. They will run it down for you. They will give you the power rankings of what they believe, and overall, it's a pretty solid podcast. I uh, I watched it um, on my own, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah, I always do enjoy reading everybody's uh, power rankings, clouds. I know I've seen uh, chuckles every once in a while here sometimes. Uh, Kirby's Jibba... power rankings where he goes in depth. Oh, yeah, I always enjoy Kirby's power rankings. But the thing is, I always see them, like... Especially now, putting White Walker still like somewhere in the top six. I'm just like, what do you mean? We're bad. We suck. I can actually change this while I'm here instead of just nah. I'll just leave it. I'll deal with my mistakes later. I don't care. You do have to flip KO back to the attacking side, though. I think. No, I put. Or them, if you didn't flip on Anubis. Them. Oh, nice. Them. No, please. I wasn't don't, paying don't attention. Don't make me do that again, please. Because I have to flip all the spectators, and I hate that. Come on, Jeff. They're just all in team chat, and they're just like, oh, we cut out again. You know? <laughs> like I keep telling every every stream, Jeff needs to do that update already. Then when I switch sides, it swaps the spectators too. Yes. Okay, so we got the ready for You hearing us, Jeff? Ravioli. Oh, we got both ready. Let's go to Havana. Havana, a very good map. One of the maps that got added to Overwatch, of course, within, I think, the last two years. Um, it, Rialto, and I think it was only it and Rialto who have been added, uh, not uh, all the only maps that have been added, but two maps who have been added through the Archives event. Um, of course you do have Paris being an added, um, an added map, I believe, I believe Horizon as well. Ugh, no. Just don't, don't even speak of those maps. Busan. Those maps. Okay, Busan I like. Busan's one that got added, um... But, uh, there's a reason why Paris and. If anyone in chat can uh, can tell me what other maps have been added, if I'm missing any. I think it's just those Paris, um, Lunar Colony. Uh, Kurlasor is 3-0 to Valhalla. Ooh, we might be seeing. Oh, never mind. God damn it. Griffin, why do you gotta beat me like that? I liked it. I liked this in Mercy. I wanna see uh, oh. it. Oh, 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 thank you. Oh, wait, we have Sin Mercy on both sides. Yes! Let's go. Like, I know some people say it's really low healing, which is, I mean, if you play it wrong, it can be low healing, but if you play it right, oh, it's so much damage. Indeed. So we do have similar supports, but extremely different tanks and DPS from both sides. And Ravioli on the Widowmaker, okay. Interesting picks here from both teams. You see uh, Genji again from Syndicate, his uh, most played hero, and 
Pharaoh is popular for, not popular, but known for, um, of course. And Poken, though, falling quite low on the Sigma. He does get the healing to come through, though. Stun on the BX Hunter, not be able to capitalize. But Griffin gets a pick onto Antipo with that. Um, Zenyatta's grab, though, takes out Syndicate on the Widow. And here you're gonna see uh, Rez on the Syndicate now, and you see another 6-6 six, six fight here. But Valhalla is still pushing this cart. He only got four mirrors left. BX is taken out, but the grab comes through from Brow Daddy. But you see the picks coming in from Valhalla, and KO is not able to hold first point. Yeah, that solo grab onto Griffin. Oh, I just hate to see it sometimes. Not the Zenyatta. Zenyatta. He just can't do anything in there by himself. Ravioli though, getting pressured by Syndicate and Syndicate able to get the pick there. Of course Genji kind of made for those uh, counter sniper kind of plays there, just getting in their faces where they're not very strong with, but the res on the beat does come through. And uh, Syndicate though on this Genji is still alive in the deflection of the fire strike. You always love to see big deflected fire strikes, even if they don't get picks, they do tend to drive that ult charge pretty high as the blade is there for syndicate but beat has that trans and is waiting and ready to pop it there you do see falling low beat does get taken out that's a free blade and it's popped it gets one gets two can syndicate get a third with it not a so far but bx pop shatter and that's uh it's an interesting choice there whole team's dead except for him and he pops and it doesn't get much out of it anyway poor poor use of ult there and that's Boho has been really strong on so far is using their ults wisely but right there it wasn't shown but it is a new fight and they still have four minutes just about Sigma flux though using the trance comes through of course and the grab comes from uh, Brow Daddy. It gets uh, four. Tire from Antipo gets three. And it's just roster alive now. And just trying to live on Hog. And might actually be able to get away here if they don't pick him off. He's running as fast as he can. Syndicate's actually still alive on this Genji. But roster does get taken out as um, as they do chase. But Syndicate, though, still in this back line. Might be able to touch for KO here, actually. No, Griffin is. Griffin does touch, though, actually. But the rest of KO isn't. Yeah, I was enjoying and... Syndicate's uh, Genji and his survivability in it. You'd think you're gonna pick him off, and he's just dashing and getting away from you. He's playing. He's a very smart Genji player. Does his dashes when he knows he can dash in and get that pick. He's able to escape even if he doesn't get the pick with the dash. Rosher though, looking for that hook on that Roadhog, but might not be able to get it as they do spot him and are putting in the heavy damage. He misses the hook and he's just gonna go back to his team. Fire Girls take it from AJ. AJ has the high noon. Syndicate though, falling low on this Genji, is able to live, but the fire strike, oh, Poking gets taken out. Poking playing a little bit too aggressive with no team. Uh, of course, Ravioli pops that EMP and the picks just roll through from Valhalla. And Valhalla is showing pure aggressive dominance right now. Oh, it's just Brow and Hunter being extremely, extremely dominant here. They're pushed up all the way up to the spawn, and there goes BX Hunter touching the spawn doors. Okay. I should just see the Arista coming out from Roster, though. Is it a little bit late for that, though? And BX Hunter shatters the dead body. <laughs> Tower gets Mystic. High Noon gets no one. And you see it them reeling but syndicate has the blade but he wants to pick off the zenyatta before he uses it so it doesn't get cancelled but he gets taken out by said zenyatta aj though got a touch on the creep but can't make it and valhalla finishes with three minutes left i was just gonna see kale trying to take this with a better time time bank oh hi you god initiating match Gotta make it back to point one because this freaking the little trick to make it back to the objective doesn't work on this map. Mm. 
Okay. Of course, if a hall wants to keep playing this super aggressive, they can use the spawn hold. Oh, um, no. On Havana, which I <laughs> no. really enjoy. Even though it's slight bullying, it is a very fun thing to see. Who was it that did it yesterday? Oh my god, I forgot who it was that did it. It was, a uh, With the Ops, I think. Was it With the Ops? Yeah, With the uh, Ops did I it yesterday. Yes. To, I need healing, and they got punished hard. That was just it's really always funny. a good strat though, even if it doesn't get you a fight win, because you always do get a second chance of contesting that point A on Havana, which always isn't which isn't always given to you if you hold back at this back corner, because um, at this back corner if you lose the fight, the card's pretty much already halfway there, and uh, you won't be able to contest again. But if you do that spawn hold, you're able to hold it long enough to if you all die pretty quickly, if you lose the fight, you will be able to come back and contest. Like we're seeing a different set of tanks this round for Valhalla, now with the Nerissa and the Sigma. Changing it up on us. How dare they. Alright. Oh, Making more shield heroes from... damage than me. <laughs> roster falling low, it gets picked off. All this, the Discord, all this is, the damage though. boost, the dynamite. I think it was the pull Too as much. well. <laughs> Rissa pull, again, it's very... Very useful, cooldown did get a really bad nerf at one point, but they were able to balance it back out by giving it an extra meter of, of, of use, usability, I guess. Poking gets picked off again as well. You lower that shield and you get melted almost immediately with this comp. And Depot taking the off angle on the Junkrat does get AJ. Roster trying to back up and ooh, just very good. Oh, and Griffin taken out in the back line. I think he was trying to go for Ravioli, maybe? And now we see a Zarya instead of the Reinhardt. It's an interesting combo to go with a Sigma. You don't see it very often. You don't? No. And uh, BX gets the pick on the AJ, and this is rough for KO right now. They can't seem to be able to push past their spawn. They're just getting poked and poked to death. Literally. Um. Literally. <laughs> Looks like they might be trying to do a different rotation, but you can keep in mind, Valhalla does have that junkrat, so playing in the small room is just not the smartest course of action here, maybe. Yeah, that spam is very strong, especially when they're close to that tire, and they're all in that room, that tire could be big. But almost a 3-3 split from KL prevents that big, like, poke, and Andipo actually gets taken out. Res, though, does come through from Hex. Bob is used. And roster falling low, but is able to use that Sigma um, grasp to get all that health. And he's looking to be at like 600 health, but it does take away. But the beat drop just brings him back to a thousand. And uh, and Depot though does have that tire and is ready to use it whenever Flux is used. Syndicate, they're all gonna be half when they drop. And that rock for another pick with that blade, roster. but he gets taken out, and that's gonna be a big hit for. Okay, uh, for, um, Valhalla. Valhalla cancels the flux with the tire, and KO, they were looking strong at the beginning, but they are gonna end up losing this fight. It's just Ross gonna get caught. Oh, no. Now we see the swap from AJ onto the Tracer now. Get out of there, Syndicate. Get out. Oh, Syndicate got a pick, though. That's big. AJ on the Tracer, just trying to meddle in their back lines. And another pick from Syndicate. Syndicate is trying to put KO on his back, and it seems to be working. He's almost got blade again. He gets another pick. Syndicate, keep going. AJ though does get lifted, but is able to recall right as he gets right as he gets slammed down on the ground to get all that health back. Syndicate gets another. Is Syndicate gonna kill all of them? Yep. He gets another. Syndicate, get another. For the get, next. get him again. Oh, roster. roster. <laughs> Roster. Why you gotta do that? Let Why you gotta man... do your job, man? Let the man get all the kills. Oh, and we were, just, we were having fun. Zen. And well, KL playing really aggressive here. Could be how they work it here, though. They do have the Grav Blade and Beat swapped over to the Lucio, so there's no trans coming through here. Looks like Vahal is just waiting for a whole regroup. Here. This grab though could be big with a blade if they use it right here, and this is a good room to use it 
They already used the Sigma ult too. Brav is used. Syndicate, gotta pop that blade. The Pulse Bomb's actually used and gets two. The Pulse Bomb is a combo also well used. And Syndicate gets him, just rolling through him now. Is KO. KO finally showing some life, but it is a little bit too late as they can't win the match anymore. But hey, you get this map win and you get a good boost in your map difference. Oh, and B normal needed our life. But Syndicate's just like nah. Or you can Syndicate never lets anyone live. He builds another blade. Used here, oh my god. And he goodness. gets two. Oh my Syndicate pop off and the res is cancelled from X? I guess probably pull they probably got too far away from that. It happens sometimes. I know the I know the pain of that. I don't play Mercy. And when I do, I usually don't do good. <laughs> if you're not familiar with my play, I'm usually a tank DPS player, so me on support's a little bit of a throw. I play Anna and that's about it. Okay. Um just play Brick. He's a mini tank. I I read it Lucio, if that if that helps. Oh well, there you go. If any teams are looking for a tier four Reddit Lucio, I'm your man. A tier um, four Reddit Lucio. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh it's like uh silver and below. Okay. Uh, Flux nope. is used. Gets no one, bro. That's a little bit, uh, a little bit close for you, bud. That's the first flux you haven't picked up a single person with. But we do uh, have Griffin, the Bob though, does get picked from off. Ravioli. Have on. Bob gets MVP. Bob has Book of Sorrows. Bob popped off on Eichenwald. Rav's Bob just popped off See, there. I'm telling you, it is Bob for MVP. Yeah. Doesn't matter who it is. It's just Bob. We just give the Pokecord bot MVP because he's the closest thing to Bob. <laughs> Griffin though. Or a roster popping the primal, my bad, not Griffin. Griffin's done on tank. And he's looking to knock off Brow, and Brow goes for a swim and he ends up hitting himself on the way down so Roster doesn't get the final blow. Come on man. We wanna see an environmental kill. We all now know we what happened in our hearts though. Now we do have uh, AJ on to Hansa, so we do see the Shimada brothers up in here. Syndicate is, is popping off, and, and oh. I'm ready to see you guys. Cast a curse. Wow. Kill Syndicate. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Syndicate can blade here. Oh, they're all dead. Alright, that was... That was quick. No, Rev's Syndicate just swinging his blade around. Just... He's not getting any kills, but he is... Certainly, certainly threatening that Reaper who's in Wraith form. Brow gets d -max. And just ball swinging around. Spin to win here from BX Hunter. And uh, there's no stuns actually from uh, from KO. So let's see how long this lasts. Um, and he ends, ends up dying. Uh, Monkey ult's used again by Roster. He's just swatting them all off cart. Trying to get the squishies, but this isn't really able Showing to find anybody. No oh, never mind. He gets Ravioli blade. gets picked. Dragon's used on top of cart, gets hexed. Beats on this bar, just trying to provide healing. Actually gets Ant Depot and spawn with Dragon's bomb from Brow, though, picks off both supports. That could be big for Valhalla and turning this fight and maybe getting the 4 0 here. As you see, though, Syndicate gets another pick. Roster gets it, and KO's gonna be able to finish. Oh, maybe. Syndicate uses the blade just to get another. And, and Depot though still touching on the tracer. They're actually not able to kill her yet. And uh, Brow though still on with the D.Va. Baby form comes through. Be uh, the ball from BX Hunter. He is spinning around still. And Rav comes back on the Reaper. Almost has that Reaper off, but does get picked off. Uh, BX Hunter though still spinning and almost has the minefield. Could space them off of cart. This is a really good stall from Valhalla. And Depot though, she's the only one stalling. She dies and Brow's not able to touch, but. It's gonna be. That's gonna be hard for KO to still win this map here. It's gonna be an uphill battle. With four minutes, oh my goodness. It's gonna be hectic. Baha just taking these maps with huge time banks. You never know, they could pull an Opti and what Opti did against Valhalla last season and just got a 6k with Bomb. Oh my god. I wasn't able to actually see that, but I saw the feed of it and ugh. I should probably go back was, and actually uh, look at the... Not sure if anybody clipped it updated. or not. Uh, I hope. Um, if you guys were not familiar, last season, a uh, team who was taking a season off, Nova, uh, who a uh, player who is currently on, serving an eight-week ban, but has already had two of those weeks pass, um, Opti, 
uh, played D.Va and got a 6k bomb on Valhalla on this map. And, uh, of course, yours truly and Mr. Gaming Kirby were commentating that game. Um, if you were there, uh, good, you got to saw an amazing time. Uh, I screamed because it, you don't see 6k as much, especially with D.Va bomb. And, uh, <laughs> they did the comment, oh my god! Kind of like, uh, the, what's his name, uh, JR from, uh, from uh, WWE, remember that? Oh my God! Oh God, God Almighty! <laughs> you see almost a dive coming in here, but Ravioli staying contesting on the Sombra, and uh, KO. Turn around, KO. Uh, oh no! Do they not notice yet? No, Rob, they don't. Okay, there we go. There we go. Notice. Rob, you shouldn't have tried to hack anybody. You should have just stood there for a while and see what happened. Just waited for them, but of course, I think. Person might have noticed. Syndicate though and AJ both farming those ults though. This could be big. Rav dropping in behind him looking for the hack. Gets the hack on the Pokin. And Depot gets picked off though on that Reaper, but the res does come through. And overall brawl. But AJ gets a pick on the Sombra. And Pokin gets the Reinhardt. This could be big for a KO. And Depot though still alive on this Reaper. But does get taken out. Hex has nowhere to fly to. And Beans on the Anna's in trouble. Syndicate in their face. Syndicate's already gotten two. Can he get a third? Syndicate, you're missing your shots, bud. Come, come on, I believe in you. Get the pick. Right, Anna, get the Anna, uh, get the Anna. You got the health back. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh he got hacked, got that's why. All right. Okay, oh, if, no. if you guys are wondering, we're not cheering for KO. It's just fun to see Syndicate on Genji chase down Frozen. I always like seeing Syndicate on chasing everybody. Oh, Syndicate, though, Diva. using the blade, gets beat. D Nano is used onto Brow, though. Blade only gets one, but, I mean... With all the CC from Valhalla, you don't expect him to get too much. Grab onto card, a zoning ult almost. Um, from Pokin. Uh, we love to see those zoning grabs. I have oh, you gotta watch for the EMP bomb. It's so close. Bomb is used. Grab doesn't no. get the EMP off, oh, but the EMP no, is used. Not quite yet. But the beat from Griffin, though, he's able to use that beat before the EMP comes through and save everyone except for Mystic. AJ, though, gets a pick onto the Winston, but Brow and Beant are still alive. Rav gets a hack onto Pokin, but Brow Daddy on this baby demon might not be able to get the pick. Unless. Okay, there we go. The res from uh, Hex actually goes onto BX Hunter there. She, uh, They got it off, and uh, you see BX Hunter, though, on the uh, Winston nearing that primal if he can stay alive, but not. Really, Rav though is able to get out on the Sombra. Ko takes a point here, which could help, but Fahal of course has four minutes to push point A. But it is I possible. No, even on overtime, you could still Ko is, can very much push it all the way. If they play it smart, if they play it safe. If Syndicate keeps getting nearly five Ks and poking, okay, Pokin never mind. Pick. Oh, get the mercy. Hex. There we Hex. go. Nice. I'm not gonna say that's a bad. But I'm just saying the positioning there, not the best. Monkey's Could have waited a bit. Push everybody at the point, but he's just denied that. And the but from BX Hunter does it's fall. Okay. Rav though, I think Syndicate knows Rav is there. Like the sonar arrow actually might have poked out Rav. But Rav though, nearing that EMP at 60%, and you know how the fast that thing can oh. charge. I thought there was nobody in the payload. Oh, Dragons used to prevent um, Valhalla from using that no, no, door, no, no, but no. they are Don't see nine. the grab is used to poke in another zoning grab, but BX actually rolls into it. AJ though, picking in Depot again, and Depot can't, they can't seem to use these sneaky heroes on AJ. AJ just picks them off before they can do much with it. Grab though, does get the hack onto Syndicate on this Genji. That means no blade if he gets it during this hack, but he does get unhacked and is nearing that blade. Beat used from Griffin to keep them alive in this fight. Rav though, does use the EMP though. This could be big. Pokin though, takes out Ravioli Stain on that Sombra. Pokin gets another pick on it. Uh, the blade used from Syndicate to clean up kills gets two. Gets a Three. third. Syndicate. Oh my god. Keep going, man. Uh, and here we go. We, people always questioning why Syndicate only plays Genji, and this is the reason why. It doesn't matter what you're running against them, he'll get those kills he will, somehow. He will do good. I missed him. Didn't play last season. 
didn't find a team to play with last season. Found KO before the season, right before the season started pretty much. And he's been pretty good. Even phenomenal. <laughs> but they are nearing the Grab Dragons for KO. They could push this third point if they use these Grab Dragons appropriately. But though BX Hunter does have the Mines, the Diva Bomb, the Tracer, Pulse Bomb, of course. Three ults from Valhalla. If they use these correctly, Valhalla can also stop it right here. Here comes the grab, grab is used Hoken. for Hoken. And the bomb from Brow though takes two. Both supports are down for KO. Mines are used in the back line. Spacing off half of cart not available for uh, KO. And but KO loses the fight. Unless AJ gets a massive streak oh, of kills no. here, but and Valhalla stops it right there. That's still a very, very excellent push from KO with only one minute. To get it that far. Now we just gotta see the defense, see what they play and how they try to stop Valhalla from taking this map. And hopefully they get one win, one map win here. And help out their map differential. But like I've said, we're still very early in the season. They they're still they can still very much win the next few games. Try to secure a spot in playoffs. Not the possibilities are endless for any team right now. Fun fact about uh, what KO's lineup is right now. Only one person on this lineup um, was on this team last season. Griffin is new to the team. Uh, Mystic is new. Uh, Syndicate is new. Pokin is new. And so is Roster. I think Pokin was actually Greetings. in last season. He just wasn't he played was, as actually. much. So yeah. He just was not played much. And same thing, yeah, roster's new. So yeah, only AJ yeah. is from the original. Even so, like, oh. going way, way back, AJ is also one of the very, very original Three. from early, early days of KO. Legion of Doom. Legion of Doom, Stop yes. Gotta take a breath here. It is hard doing this motor mouth when these teams are so frantic like this. And, oh, gets a pick and that on initial AJ. pick. Will they get rest? No, Mystic, Mystic. not able to get the red. Hook onto Pokin. And it looks like Valhalla is looking to just roll here. Brow on the Zarya. His so high charge damage. just with that beam. BX100 gets the hook onto Griffin, but Griffin is able to live just dancing around. But Brow with that Zarya beam is unstoppable right now. Here Valhalla and, uh, is rolling out with so much damage with the Hog Zarya, taking it back whenever there was no shields. And Ravioli on that Widowmaker. Yeah, it's an interesting pair for Rav, though, played er R Widow earlier in the series. Sorry, I lost in English um, <laughs> for a bit there. Syndicate though on the Genji does get hit by the Venomine and Griffin gets picked off actually but Ravioli Stain does get eventually picked off by Pokin on that Zarya. Syndicate gets the Genji in the back line, has that blade, he pops it, he's looking for picks here, he's not finding them. He's just kind of swinging around on cart, Hex gets low, Griffin able to finish that kill. Pulse Bomb used from AJ doesn't find much but Pokin on the Zarya but Brow gets a pick and Syndicate just dashing through, gets in depot low and... KO gets the fight win here. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the Syndicate AJ DPS line. Yeah, I think if if they played this DPS line a little bit earlier in the in the match, maybe they would have had um maybe even a map win earlier and still be alive in this match. Yeah, Somebody has gotta play the weaves. Exactly. But we are nearing a lot of ult on the side of Valhalla, nearly everything except Raviolis, who just switched to the Vara. Grab used, it gets BX Hunter, uh, actually Pokin gets BX Hunter, the grab was from Valhalla. They actually end up picking off Pokin in that grab, but AJ in the back line gets the, um, gets the tra- uh, the Junkrat, sorry. And now the, uh, Zenyatta, he's looking for more, but can't get it. The jump from roster in, he's just trying to get that cleave damage. And get the picks here, but not coming through. And we almost saw the the res from Mystic onto Pokin, but she pulled up just a little bit too much, and it canceled it. Just hate to see it. Syndicate the 
it does have this blade, but Bean has the Zenyatta ult and Hex has the Lucio ult. They are really looking to not let this blade go through. Grab is used, so is the Trans, but so is the blade here. He's putting in all the damage he can. Barrage is used. Ravioli Stain does get picked off during the Barrage of Syndicate, though. Gets nothing with blade. And Valhalla is technically up one, though, but the res comes through onto Griffin, who is freshly picked. Tire, used for Mandipo. It's rolling out. It gets Griffin, who is just rezzed as well. Pokin gets picked off as well, and now KO is looking to be reeling here. Uh, the Mercy and the Zenyatta are still alive. And, or Genji, AJ does pick off the Zenyatta, though, in the back line, but Syndicate does get picked off by Brow Daddy. And... You just see, though, a little bit of a group up here from AJ and Roster looking to dive this back line here. Roster, though, and AJ do get found. And Griffin touches but gets picked immediately. Roster jumping on the point to stall, but baby jumps right into a trap. It's okay. And Foot just predicted that jump. That's why. Looking like Sigma out here. The calculations are correct. Um. Brow does have the grab though. Valhalla still could be stopped here. They're going into overtime here right after taking point A with a four minute timing. Of course, Brow does have that grab though. It's a very big grab. They could get the picks here. Pulse Bomb is used on the Hex, but Valhalla's got the overall picks here. They don't have any also come with that grab, but they were able to get the picks anyway. The res on the Hex comes through. AJ's still alive on this Tracer, but let's see your Pokin does get chased down and killed here. And now Valhalla is looking to finish point B without any contest. Yeah, Brad Daddy just wanted to show dominance. He's probably saying how he's the better Zarya in this map. It's okay, we get it, Brad Daddy. You're really good at Zarya, but you gotta let the man live. They wanna at least escape it. But you do <laughs> see the dive coming in from KO. They got all the promised lands. They popped the blade, but both beats are traded. Syndicate might not be able to get any picks with it. And Depot uses the tire, gets Griffin in the back line, and the trap ends up getting roster as well. AJ, though, just kind of poking on this tracer, but does fall really low. One health, even, and they get picked off. Syndicate, though, has really low health as well. Deflect cannot deflect that Zarya beam, but he's able to get away with his life with about maybe 10 health left. Poking, though, falling really low as well, down to 10 health, and dies. And Valhalla takes point B with almost no contestion. A little bit of a contestion there in that last part, but uh, Valhalla had the ults, and they still have the ults to win this whole map. Okay, just to point out, we have a superstar in their chat, Charles Seven Tang. If you guys haven't heard of him, then I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Follow him on Instagram, same as his Twitch name, PSN, and everything. Also his Twitter. Oh yeah, you're right. Grav used from Pokin does boom. end up getting Bro Daddy as he walks into it. But the boop from BX Hunter, that could be big. But the picks are coming through from both teams. It's winnable on either side. Bean gets the res on the Ravioli stain. That could be big. And you do see the uh, Val coming through from Bean, just trying to keep the whole team alive. Pokin gets taken out. The stall is still true here though. But it looks like Bro Daddy on the Zarya is too high charge and just alive. But Syndicate pops the blade. Trying to keep his team in it. And he oh, gets picked. No. And Mystic is down. But they'll jump in from Roster. But he is nowhere near that primal. That a thousand health thing. Or alt. And and Debo uses the tire. Valhalla wins 4-0. And I have been using my motor mouth too much this game. I'm out of breath. I need water. I need hydration. We'll go ahead and drink some water while we start thinking on MVPs and I'll get the nominations real quick. That was just a really close fight, but Valhalla had that closer spawn there. Oh, and those tires from Anpo are just ridiculous. And Griffin with a 12 minute objective time, okay. Syndicate almost dropping 30k damage. Okay, so while we wait for the nominations, what what are we thinking? Syndicate. <laughs> syndicate. <laughs> I agree, Syndicate. I I enjoyed his Genji a lot. The survivability, like I said, and. 
last map he just kept getting those really huge blades only times he couldn't get you know two or three pigs is whenever they had to pop support ults to stop them but other than that he was just doing a lot of work on Genji but also AJ did a really really good job going up against not power point on Widow taking one shot in his Sombra also Hanzo and I know we saw his soldier as well, McCree, so... And as well, like, Ravioli with... Her far was really, really amazing as well. PowerPoint, as always, a very formidable person to go up against an Antpo. I think they only played this map, and I can't remember what other map they played. But they did an extremely good job. It's just... I think the only ones I'm gonna have a hard time with are the tanks. Because I, I don't know who... Okay. So, KO did give me the nominations for Ravioli Stain and Brow Daddy. Oh, Motor Mouth really takes it out of me. I, I'm, like, still, like, trying to, like, catch my breath and drink <laughs> water. It's okay. Take your time. Look what you're doing to me, Valhalla. Why you gotta do this to me, man? <laughs> Like, I really, really want to say Brow Daddy. His, his Zara is just... I, love, I enjoy his Zara every time. And even his Sigma was really... I think it was him playing Sigma. It was really, really good. But it's just the tank combination from Valhalla that's always... Like, I would love to see Brow Daddy with somebody else and see if it's a different outcome. But at the same time, if you want to win it, you got to keep up with the BX Hunter and Brow Daddy combo. For sure. But at the same and, time, um, Pokin was giving him a challenge on Zarya last map, and even Pokin on on Reinhardt was doing very, very good. Going from last season playing DPS to this season playing a lot of tank, it's one heck of a transition. Yeah, we still need our nomination from Valhalla. What are you thinking on support? I know we had PowerPoint. No, no, not PowerPoint. We had uh, Mosala. Bean, Griffin, Mystic, and Wu Kong. I'm not sure we had anybody. And also Cat. We give it to Wu for being cancelled in Coalescence twice. Um, <laughs> we give it to Wu for being cancelled. <laughs> we give it to Wu for for DPSing too much. For DPSing too much. He was even talking about how he wasn't going to play Moira anymore. What a bot. AJ and Griffin were nominated from uh, Valhalla. Yeah, Griffin I believe... did do a really good job on support. Like, I know they started out DPS, but I feel like the support looks a lot stronger. Especially Zen. I believe uh, my my MVPs are Syndicate, Brow, or BX Hunter. I, those are interchangeable. And I think on support, either uh, Moosh or... Um, I think one of the supports left, but I believe it was Hex. Hex? I'm not sure if I saw a lot of Hex. Hex played three maps, I believe. On I Mercy. think the only person, like, as Ilios great as, as well, Hollow supports were, the one that, like, stood out a lot was Little Masala. Those anti-nades were Masala extremely huge. Really so that's the only one I'm arguing with you about. Not arguing, but... Yeah. I guess... Against. Against a little bit. But Brow and Syndicate, of course. Yeah. I think, yeah. Brow, Syndicate, and Masala. Okay, so Masala. Oh, yeah. can agree with that one. Okay, good. It, it's either Brow or BX Hunter, but I think Brow on Sigma was just... insane. See, I would give it to BX Hunter if I didn't, like, fangirl over Brow's... Saria, only because it's BX Hunter teabagged Wu. He did what I asked yesterday. But okay, so I think we got our MVPs then. We do. Which will be Brow Daddy, Syndicate Slayer, and Little Masala. And this ends this match of KO versus Comic with <laughs> Cosmic Omnics versus Valhalla, <laughs> with Valhalla taking the 4 0. And I'm not sure if the other game is still going on. It might be. I believe it is. I think it's in map 3 or 4. Okay, so if you guys want to head on to Prodigy Noobs. They're going versus... into map 4. 
Okay, versus um, Diving Phoenix, that should still be going on. And I believe it's Eurabity and Crypto commentating that game. And if Very not, good duo, I can say from experience. They're my teammate, or I guess my coach and my teammate. But um, they are a duo that is commentating a lot together. And uh, I will say they're quite good, quite fun to watch. Yeah, absolutely. And if not, tomorrow we do have Tana Lurchers versus White Walkers. That should be by Kenny, Grill, and Kirby. So, that should be a really fun map that I'll be playing in, and I'm kind of scared, but anyways. And if not, Sunday we do have Sanction Tactics versus Pizza Planet. And that will end out our week three of... Tier three week, I believe. Three tier, yes. So thank you everybody and for then... stopping by. Oh, and yeah, and then we'll be moving on the to week tier after that two. Week two. Absolutely. But yeah, thanks everybody for stopping by. I'm Red Hood Kitty, and... I'm Zanny. Catch you later. See ya.